beautiful virgo welcome into the gifted hermit let me jump straight into this love reading i just quickly asked tarot how is this is a love reading of course okay so if you're not here for love that's fine go and check out my other content although we have been fixated on love at the moment how your person is feeling right now towards you the world card some of you could be dealing with a capricorn remember this is a general reading libra gemini aquarius is also here now Maybe this person, there's a lot of thinking with regards to this person, okay, and how they feel towards you. We've got the two of swords there. So, uh, you know, and this has been coming out regular, all right? And I promise you, I have cut and shuffled the deck. It's like a blockage, a stalemate. Maybe the person, your person, soulmate, whoever it is that you're dealing with, right? With regards to this love reading, there's a blockage here. There's a sense of in denial. This person could be in denial, Virgo. And quite frankly, you can mean the world to them, but they're shutting it off. Or you meant the world to them. Remember, tarot is timeless. Now, I pick up with the King of Swords energy. Your person is quite intelligent. They've got their head on their shoulders. Like, they're not, I don't like to say dumb, but they're not stupid. They're far from stupid. What I get is this energy of someone that is more logical than emotional, right? Maybe it's hard for them to get in tune with their emotions, be vulnerable to their emotions, talk about their emotions, talk about their feelings, okay? Maybe they're beginning to realize that. Maybe they're getting, beginning to realize that you're the one that's cut them off. Take it as it resonates, Virgo. But I'm definitely picking up for the majority of you. Your person is very much one in denial two kind of cut off from you emotionally and 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 three they find it hard to even consider thinking about their emotions all right but that world card shows me that either you've begun to realize that they've begun to realize kind of how cut off from their emotions are or how much you mean to them yeah which is the world you know, when you came into the life, Virgo, there was a lot of higher consciousness. You know, Virgo steps into your life. No matter if we stay in your life, we leave you. We leave an imprint. Okay? So I do feel like you are very much on their mind. However, they find it difficult to even express their emotions, right? Maybe they thought I was going to have a happy ending. Maybe this person's quite selfish and in their mind, you know, it's like, I'm going to be all right. Either, I'm fine. Like your person's like, I'm cool. Like, I, you know, you ask them how they are. I'm fine. I'm good. But it's all a pretense. It's all a facade to block out whatever emotions that they may have. They suppress it. So the wheel of fortune wanted to come out i'm going to respect it some of you guys could have been dealing with the sagittarius i feel like this person is thinking you you've changed virgo and maybe you have maybe you they believe that this connection was fated you guys came into each other's life for whatever reason right you were their lucky break but definitely the energy has changed so what are their intentions towards virgo <clears throat> excuse me what are their intentions towards virgo what is virgo's person's intentions i see the queen of pentacles wanted to come out there what do we have here ten of wands see they're struggling and i almost feel like you know with the ten of wands it's like that energy of not wanting to give up but um there's a, there's a heavy energy here with regards to their intentions. Tell me more. Page of Pentacles. So, something to do with opportunity. Something to do with perhaps a gift. Yeah? Something to do with a promotion. Something with, like, this energy of, I you know... Yeah, Eight of Cups wanted to come out there as well. So I get with this person's intentions. Like, they they have a heavy heart. Whether they want to admit it to you or not. Or they admit it to whoever it is around them. Yeah? They, they very much focus on their work. And the Eight of Cups, like, as I said, you know, it's kind of somebody that turns their back 
on emotions now i feel like this person intentionally is like look i knew i knew it was going to end like this you know and what they do they very much focus on their goals they're very goal orientated okay they're very look fear they they're confused with regard you know their intentions look i see fear I see this person is confused. Yeah, some of you could have been dealing with an earth sign. Some of you could have been dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. Like, I just feel like this person's very much... I, would, I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it materialistic. So when it comes to their emotions, when it comes to darkness, you know, like shadow work getting in tune with their emotions they do the polar opposite and i feel like they've got a heavy heart i feel like this connection was quite a struggle here i feel like this person very much is some of you could be dealing with a virgo or a gemini um they could have facial hair i always say this with the magician card they could be a wise soul they could be somebody that has skill has talent they're manifesting something here. I feel like this person kind of has had their fair share of, I wouldn't want to say heartbreak, but letdowns. So their safe space is, you know what, I'm just going to concentrate on myself. I'm going to concentrate on my dreams, my aspirations. Uh, they may decide to do some drinking, you know, um, to kind of block that out like there's blockers there this is someone that pretends everything's all right like i'm fine i'm just gonna enjoy life with friends and stuff like that you know it's not a problem for me that's that's the energy that i get but trust me deep down this tarot reader knows it's all a facade they suppress their emotions and, and on the outside, it's like, the, on the interior, there's a lot going on. And on the exterior, it's like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm good. But anyone that truly knows this person knows that they're hurting, right? So let's talk about the person that truly loves Virgo. Look at this, that all came out with regards to the person that truly loves you. So Queen of Pentacles, that's you okay the majority of people that come into this tarot reading are going to be women so i feel like i'm talking to a lot of women here and um this person sees how kind how nurturing you are and there's this energy of they're kind of pissed off and i feel like this person that whoever it is that loves you whether they've told you that or not there was some sort of betrayal here like i feel like a lot of virgos think you know you, you there's like this word of selfish you're selfish you took only what you wanted it's all about you you know there was some sort of deceiving energy here now it may be that your person feels like you've deceived them and i feel like there's a lot of energy of uh you you on their mind now things have been said i think that you know whether it was you or them but things have been said that's hurt that's hit the heart that's hit them and you know it was like a stab in the back yeah there's anxiety here remember what i was saying like on the outside everything's a-okay in their comfort zone it's like i'm just going to work and i'm going to get on with my sort of stuff but on the inside i feel like there's a lot of thought going on like i feel like this person's kind of pissed off i almost want to say oh well but i'm not i'm not built like that I'm not built like that. Most Virgos find it hard to talk about their feelings, especially the men. I want people to... I love vulnerability. This person finds it hard. They, you know, vul they do not like to feel vulnerable. But deep down, I think there's a lot going on in the core. What's the energy coming towards Virgo in love? Eight of Wands. So... Eight of Wands talks about good news, okay? For some of you, we've got good news coming towards you with regards to love. Um, it could be travel as well, right? Whether you travel to someone, someone travels to you, okay? Communication, contact, like a message, a phone call, 
an email you know however it is they contact you i feel like there's going to be some sort of communication and i do get a bit fed up of saying that but i feel like with the energy coming towards you there's going to be good news three of swords so i feel like somebody is going to i said good news is coming towards you yeah and i feel like this three of swords yeah is like it signifies a broken heart so it could be that your person's like look i'm sad you know i feel heartbroken take me back i don't want this to end i'm sorry um yeah what's that song heard it all before look this is like i you know honestly think like this was once really good energy but in fact it, you know it's come to an end or with this conversation or this contact or whatever it is i feel like there's going to be energy around look you were so good to me like things were so good but then you just treated me like crap you treated me like i didn't exist you know um i feel like a lot of you this person <laughs> this person is just like you looked up to me i want it to be every like this person wants to be seen in a good light but deep down in the core of them it's like virgo doesn't see me in that light anymore and it hurts and this could be your energy and this could be the stuff that you say to them or you think about listen everything is a learning curve ace of pentacles so we see an opportunity here we possibly see for some of you guys a new connection for others of you a fresh start a new beginning like let's start again you know from the ten of swords again there's one thing good about the ten of swords and that is the opportunity to find hope to find heal to find healing the hanging demand perspective seeing stuff from a different perspective it's like virgo i think some of you being guided just to sit down wait do what you got to do and and watch the magic happen watch the opportunities that come towards you I'm going to do another, another love reading, but I, I think for now, I'm going to leave it there. And I just wanted to quickly talk about these three cards, okay, Virgo? A little side note, aside from this love reading, okay, and whoever it is that you're dealing with. These three flipped out when I pulled the cloth, and I always think, like, it's, it's spirit wanting to say something for me to tell you guys. And it's like, look, Virgo, you're trying to act in a mature way. You are trying to remain positive. You are trying to have balance. You are trying to heal. You are trying to like be reborn, to start afresh, whether you're single or not. That two of pentacles is like you're trying to find a balance. Despite maybe all the healing that you're, you're doing, trying to get past whatever you, you know, you've gone through. You, you're still finding that balance to love to protect others, to give love to the world. Like there's this unconditional love. Despite you guys healing, despite you guys trying to find balance, you're, you're really trying to stay positive. You're really trying to seek harmony. And at the same time, you're healing. So you should be very proud of yourself, okay? You give so much love. You're so protective of the people that you love. You want the best for people. And, and, I, and I just feel that's just so selfless because you're healing yourself. You've got your own troubles and your own responsibilities. You've got enough going on, yet you still find the time to give to others, to be there for people that need you. So shouts out to you for that. Right, I love you guys. I'm out of here. Remember, you can book me for a personal. You can follow me on the socials and you can catch me for live tarot, although I've been very busy. And yeah, be kind to others, as I always say. But most importantly, be kind to you, Virgo. And the gifted will catch you real soon. Mwah.